Okay, I'm going to show this at the front of the video that I make today because this is actually a really good cherry collection. Hey, hey, Jay, what would we do? Pay up. We paid up. But whatever. I mean, this is good stuff. Um, Roberto the Robot. Uh, Roberto the Robot. Look at this. A Jaguar CD and the, and the Jaguar with Alien vs. Predators. Nice. There's a lot of money just there. Uh, a Game Shark 2 for the PS2. Uh, uh, this we didn't really get. This was from a different, but I didn't show it, Mr. Basic Meats. Uh, <laughs> an XL 3DS, come on. Uh, there's some of the not-so-exciting stuff there, but then we go Alien vs. Pre Pre oh, well, yeah, this this one. Um, Devil I'm gonna cry, no big deal. Um, I'm not, I, I don't know if I've had Monster Hunter 3. Unreal Tournament, no big deal, I guess, but Suffering. Uh, Soul Reaver, Persona 4, Godzilla Unleashed. I've never even had that one before. DOA 2, Hardcore, Contra, PS3, I mean, Persona 3 make that. Um, Armored, uh, Armored Core 2, Reign of Fire, Silent Hill 2, 3, 4, come on. Uh, Blood Omen 2, Legacy of Cain, Blood Rain, and Blood Rain 2, The Suffering. I mean, I barely ever get that game. Uh, Mace Griffith, Bounty Hunter, and of course, Man I know too. Not a bad collection. I'm showing this uh, in the front of the video so you guys don't have to worry around and see all the good stuff. Uh, Columbus was fun today. Um, I still don't know if I'd recommend that market. It's gotten a little tougher over the years. I, I did okay, so I'm not going to complain too much, you know. But uh, anyway, th this is our probably our best uh, PS2 game trade in quite a while. And to top it off, there's a Jaguar console and a Robbie the ro robot. I mean, come on. Okay. Today's Thursday. Just had a little bit of music. Bringing me in the car. It's uh, 4 o'clock in the morning. 418 to be uh, precise or exact. Um, and we're going to go to Columbus today. You know what AJ told me? We're meeting AJ. You know what AJ told me? The last time we went to... Well, yeah, it's more of a rhetorical question. Um, AJ said we haven't been to Columbus in tw since 2021. Also two years? Yeah, uh, we took the monthly. Well, that makes sense. Yeah, well, I, I mean, know it's been okay. a while. Yeah. Yeah, and it was like, again, we were like, ugh, it just it wasn't working out for us. So today... It's too far of a trip, and now they've raised the tolls. Yeah, can you 300 in the morning? I mean, 3 o'clock in the morning. They've raised the tolls again, you know that, right? Yeah. So, tolls are going to be like 20 bucks. No, they used to be 20. They're going to be more. Probably like 25. Oh, that's great. So, to ride in on our own roads that our tax dollars pay for and everything, it's like 25 bucks to, in our own state of New Jersey as a citizen. 25 bucks just to go from one end to Jersey to another. Is well, it worth it? I don't know. <clears throat> well, they're in back 25. Yeah. Yeah, so anyway, we're going to Columbus. Uh, we're going with AJ. We're going to get him now. I figured I'd do a quick summary of what's going on today. Since I'm going to be at the market, I'll probably be busy. Uh, I'm taking my silver car. I just loaded it with a bunch of... Uh, I was going to do this other market, Ringwood, where they have decorative stuff. So I loaded it up with direct decorative stuff. And uh, also I loaded it up with stuff that AJ and I can sell together. So, I don't know. We might do well, we might not. But uh, everybody wants to shop. We're going to scrap some uh, precious metals. Silver and gold. And uh, that's pretty much the plan, you know. Uh, I bought a tent, probably not going to put it up. It's going to be hot today. But we're probably not going to be here the whole day. And to deal with a tent? Yeah, I don't know. It's like I'm wearing a hoodie, it doesn't matter. And it's, it's probably not going to get hot, hot. It might be cloudy, <coughs> so it's not. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't think it's going to get hot, hot to like early afternoon. Well, we're going to well, leave by early we'll afternoon. Leave. Right when it starts. We're probably, yeah. We'll I, leave at noon, like you said. That's when we should leave. It'll start getting hot. Yeah. The temperature will start rising between noon and night. Yeah. So, and I, I don't think we should stay past noon. Especially on a Thursday. You know. I don't think it would be too hard to pack everything in the car. Hopefully I'll sell some stuff. We'll get rid of everything. Yeah, I dare to dream. You know. I just, I don't know. I'm, I'm doing it because we said, oh, let's just scrap. We're not gonna. We're not gonna be able to do it for a while. Today's a weather-wise perfect day. Um, it's, it, there's a really good chance it's gonna rain this weekend. We missed out two weekends. Well, we missed out all of last weekend. It, it would have been two shows, and uh, then there's this show this weekend. But right now on Saturday, it looks like it's gonna rain, and on Sunday we don't have anything planned. No, it's a possibility. Like. 
they're not showing rain in the little picture. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> Bless you. Um, but they're saying there's a possibility of a stray shower or thunderstorm. Right. So, but it's still, I mean, they can't predict the weather anymore. They don't know what's going on. Yeah, it is what it is. I, I think it's probably going to rain, so, you know, that's not. They keep saying it's going to rain, it's going to rain, and then the day comes and you don't do something because you think it's going to rain, and then it never rains. Uh, yeah, that happens once in a while, but the thing is, all well, the other Sunday times when it does rain. that bad as they said it was yeah. going to be. Yeah, I, you know, but if it rained once last Sunday, that could have messed a lot of stuff yeah. up. So it's I don't just even know if it rained tank once, worth doing. Where the market was was further away from our house, so I can't judge. Yeah, that's true. And when they say 10% rain chance, that doesn't mean 10% were like it's 10% all over. Yeah, and which they, means that it's probably going to well, rain at least when, once during the day. When we get our news here, it's it's tri-state. It's mm. New Jersey, New York, Connecticut. And so. you can you can go by towns, right? You know, and, 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 and like, you know, it's up to what date, it's hourly. It's more and more like Florida weather up here. Sometimes, like, yeah. With, with the rain patterns. Like yeah. Heavier rain. Heavy downpours in the afternoon and it lasts for 20 minutes and then it's done. Yeah. Uh, it rains in one town and it doesn't rain in the other town. I remember down in Florida how it would rain on one side of the street and not on the other. <coughs> I think George is coming. And it would coming. be coming down like insanity. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, for sure. And you'd see this, like, wall of rain coming towards Yeah, it's, like, the like craziest here. thing. I mean, you don't see that much up here, but no. that's just, you just, that's, like, it's, like, stepping in and out of a shower, you know? It's not raining here, it's raining there, you know? But uh, I think George, George messaged me. Maybe he's coming, maybe he isn't. Yeah. He wants to be against the fence, so I guess... What? He says he wants to be against the fence. What does that mean? Uh, in the NT part of the market. Uh, well, I, I mean... There's no guarantee you can even get that. But, uh, like, if he gets there earlier and he buys a ticket, he's early on the line, um, which is what I'll, t I'll talk to him. If he says he's uh, awake, I'll call him and I'll say, hey, if you're in front, in front of us on the line, you buy the ticket, you know. Uh, if we're in front, we'll buy the tickets. And then we'll just, if he goes, if he knows where he wants to go, he can go. And if he can well, get... they're not going to let him in unless he has the ticket. You can't buy a ticket for him, and he can't buy a ticket for us. No, you give him the ticket. What you do is you, you meet him... Uh, at the thing, at the the gate, or you just you just wait. You walk down the line. You go. Okay. So you can make that man do that for us if he's there in the line. He's got to wait at the. You know, he knows no, he's I'll, gonna want to walk around and shop. No, we would we would go. I would go maybe with AJ and go grab the ticket from him, and then I'll go back to the car. Yeah, you know, it's not that complicated of a problem. But anyway, we're almost at the store. That's our our meetup place where we're gonna grab AJ. So that's it for now. All right. What I, what I was gonna say is that it's just different though because Columbus is so far for us. If we can't make money, you know, then what's the point of like coming super early? Because it's such a crapshoot. It's far for us. I woke up at three o'clock in the morning today, guys. But that's not the point. It costs us. It's gonna be twenty five dollars in tolls to get here, right? Yeah. And gas, I don't know, fifteen twenty bucks, right? Uh, we're gonna eat. I, I don't know. We're, we we have filled up the car. So what we're gonna do is we'll refill up the car. Big truck like yours yeah. Gas. But we're gonna refill the car when we get back. Whatever. Uh, but while we're here, we're gonna eat lunch. We're gonna do this. So for us, the three of us to come here, we're gonna spend probably about a hundred uh, bucks. On exit nine. Exit nine. That's yeah. Where we are, so the rent is what twenty twenty five. So that's why it's like yeah we can come and if we could spend the whole day I'm shopping. Wow. Yeah, he probably is. Like yeah, he probably is. But what I'm saying is, it's like, for us to just get up 3 in the morning to come shop here, Marie and myself, or even Marie and you, without trying to sell and make mo make money to make up the difference, it's, not it's like, it's not worth it. Yeah. You know, we're too far away. You know? And then, and then the quality of what's here, especially on Thursdays. <laughs> what? Yeah, I wish. I wish. The metal ones used to be in the middle of the week. We, Mary and I were talking about that. How we used to come on like uh, Wednesdays. And that was such a sunny No, but the thing is, we could set up, but then we could walk around, we'd find some stuff. But at least it wasn't an hour and a half away. It was like 10, 15 minutes. So it wasn't a big deal. You know, like all this travel. Like us traveling, it's, it's about three hours just traveling there and back. So if we don't make a lot of money, you know, I don't know, or we don't find like some amazing stuff. 
It's not like we're the only ones to shop in there, and we're not like the, we're the only ones who want what we want. Everybody does, you know? So it's just this big competition to find some things. And there's been plenty of times, like, like you and I will come here, and we'll find some weird, random stuff. Remember we bought those stupid wrestling card posters? Oh, yeah, we sold one. We did? Thank God. Did we get our money back? Yeah. Thank God. Uh, I don't even know where they are now. They're probably in the garage or something. For my time coming here, there is some weird stuff that nobody else touches. So yeah. I'll buy. I'll That's what we got to look for. We got to look but for the stuff. It's weird, though, because if this stuff was at the Metal Ends, tell everybody. It'll be gone. Well, they uh, they have deeper pockets at the Metal Ends um, because Metal Ends is closer to the city, I guess, or I don't know. You know, uh, it's just there's more money where we are than there is here, I, I believe, uh, to buy stuff. You know, where we are, it's like everybody's got, like, money to buy stuff. Over here, I don't know. They do, they don't. I, I'm not sure. You know? I mean, once they get it, they, they up a charge as much as possible. But they they don't like to pay much here, as from my personal experience. I would sell to Philly deal, dealers or Manhattan dealers or high-end New Jersey antique uh, shops or stuff when I used to come down. You know? I always knew, like, hey, I'm at a flea market. So I'm not going to get top dollar. I used to just flip it because at the time we all used to be able to just find stuff much easier. But now it's different uh, because everybody has the potential to be a reseller. That's like yesterday, the guy with the, that Sola Sola Hess trucks, you know, he was like, I could put the stuff and sell it, but I don't want to do that. I'm retired. Yeah, with the baseball card. Some guy comes in, I got the best baseball card. It's like $6,000. I'm like... Uh, so I, I, AJ says, let me check. And he immediately finds for 13. Perfect. So, yeah, it's high value, but it's not 6,000. And, and then the guy was arguing with Tony, saying that, oh, you're not going to buy it? Oh. Yeah, I said, no, I'm not going to buy it. Well, what kind of businessman are you? I told Tony, just send him away. Yeah, I say, I, what I told him is, I said, look, uh, you are showing me a, a, where it says 6,000. I showed you where it says 13. So that's a big difference to me. So, you know, not interested. <laughs> well, I don't understand. If we don't want to buy your stuff, I have a sign up. If we don't want to buy your stuff, we don't want to buy it. Well, that's the thing. A you lot know? of people they they try and like they need, either they need money or they try and like uh, sometimes bully you into buying stuff you don't want. And I'm like, I don't want it. I don't want it. You know, like the best stuff. I got the best stuff. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, that guy we feel bad. What happened? We feel bad for that guy. He hasn't been back much. You know. I found another store to go to. Maybe. You know, but all right. I, I guess we're still on the way. T it turns out we're George is coming today, so we're gonna meet George there. And um, I don't know. Well, I'll let you know how things go. If we have a good day, I'll say, you know what, guys, it was worth coming. If I don't have a good day, I'll say like, me. <laughs> no. You, 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 you be like the best thing about coming here is the Amish. Uh, well, I'll tell you one thing about the Amish. Anthony wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. Um, I used to get their cherry pies and because they're really good, but you have to be careful when you get cherry pies because no matter what, there's almost always a pit in them. Really? Yeah, and the funny thing is, remember our neighbors um, that lived next to it, um, the guy that was Spanish and then yeah. he had the Asian girlfriend? Uh, he said to us, he says, oh, you're going to Columbus? Get me some pies. And I said, I told him, he said, get a cherry. I said, listen, I'm going to warn you. Um, I've gotten the cherry pies from them and they almost always have a pit in them, right? So I said, just, you know, when you go to eat it, make sure you check for pits. So what happened was his girlfriend ate it and she bit on a pit. <laughs> and uh, I, because I asked him, I said, say, so did you get any pits? He's like, oh, my girlfriend, I forgot to go warn her. I was like, uh-oh, got in trouble, you know. And his, and his girlfriend was always like, hey. Yeah, but the cherry pie's good. Oh, yeah, it's really good if you like pie. But remember what fresh. his girlfriend was it's all, like? It's she fresh. wasn't the friendliest. It was all fresh meat stuff. She probably laid into him on that pit. I, I mean, if he was dumb enough to tell him, oh, yeah, I forgot to warn you. You know, I would have been, you know, you got to act like stupid. Well, oh, there's a pit? Wow. I never would have thought there was a pit my there. My mom, whenever we used to visit Pennsylvania, my mom would make me go. She would put huckleberries, but they're yeah. blueberries. Yeah. We, had to, we, had to go, we would go in the woods and we'd pick it, like, freaking blueberries for hours. Yeah. And we'd come back with, like, two, like... Pale, like pale ticks pole. hanging off your legs. And she would make, no, we didn't thorn have, bushes. No, we, there were thorn bushes. I used yeah. to get cut up. Yeah. But um, mosquito bites. She would make my sister make pies. And when they're yeah. fresh made like that, they're good. Rabies. 
Yeah, no. That, when it's fresh, because that's the best. Going out and their own berries. I mean, they, might. they are not. Well, they might. Have, I mean, obviously, they might have farms where they buy from each other. But yeah, I, yeah, I don't. I don't think that's a. I mean, these are more like commercial I Amish. Love my these aren't like your your. But they, elderberries for a while along the roads in Pennsylvania. And do you remember the guy that used to pretend to be Amish? They were coming through with these big trucks that spray pesticides. Yeah. And they killed a lot of the elderberries. Do you remember the guy that used to pretend to be Amish? That used to come to the Meadowlands. Yeah, he used to come to the Meadowlands and he would pretend to be Amish. Why pretend? Because he would go, oh, Amish pies. But I'm you know Amish what? pastries. Yeah. Because they can't drive, they hire somebody like that yep. to drive yeah. their stuff, their merchandise, like up to the Meadowlands or something like that. I know that, yeah. 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 So. You'd be like. Because they can't drive. And they hey guys. can't take the freaking horse and buggy up there. No. That's why, like, the Amish that come today, they're in buses. Usually. Yeah. The South Columbus Marine, they're usually in buses. You're allowed to drive up. Yeah, I know, right? Bus. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, because the new the new order Amish. Uh, you know what? If I was Amish, I'd be like, I'm driving. I don't give a shit. You know? Like, discommunicate me, whatever the hell it is. Like, they do with the what? Catholics. You wouldn't think that way if you were brought up Amish. Oh, yeah, I would. Because I was brought up Catholic, but and I think the way I do. You know what's crazy? They're only there Thursday, Friday, Saturday, not their Sunday. Because Sunday is the Holy Day. High Holy Day. Well, yeah, because they're religious people. So wait, so so Columbus, the the flea market is not open Fridays, or is it open Friday? No, Friday's just the Amish and the inside. Okay, that's see, I wasn't sure. So I thought it was Saturday open Friday. Saturday they open outside. Yeah, you know, nobody ever talks about Saturday there. I really wonder what it's like. Yeah. I mean, maybe maybe one day, if, if we're just shopping like on so like at some so point, Tony, we tell, could go to Meadowlands, Columbus. Tell everybody about our flea market tour. Um, what about it? So today we're going to Columbus. Next next Thursday, me and you might try might go to Norway. Oh yeah. yeah. We we're talking about it. Right. Yeah. That's a big mistake already. Why? The last time we did pretty good. No, we didn't. We did terrible. No, we were giving we, stuff away no, to that no, guy. No, I'm talking about the stuff that we found. We didn't find anything that good. Uh, over time. We, were, uh, we made like four hundred dollars over time. Over time. We made 400 it's just, It wasn't really worth it. I just want to go shopping. Not Plus, there was... I mean, I'm not saying anything too bad about Rawway, but everybody there was shady. <laughs> you know I mean? We had, like, a lot of, like, uh, guys that were, like, you know, rubbing their faces a lot and yeah. just, you know, uh, being, like, being weird and toothless. And just, you know what I mean? Like, a lot of guys that looks like, like they were, like, looking for their next hit. You know? Nothing against Rawway. <laughs> Just in that particular day, there's a lot yeah, of shady guys. Market is by the prison. I know it is. Yeah. yeah. But, alright. I guess I'll end on this note. I'm going to trash in Rahway. Okay. Alright, I'm going to turn it off for a bit until we get to the flea market. Yeah, I, I was looking at apartments in Queens when I was... Alright, okay, bye. What, what about apartments in Queens? And my dad... What is the... What's the prison in New York that's... Uh, oh, we're talking about prisons. Yeah, Rikers. Yeah, Rikers. So my dad's like, you don't want to go out there. I'm like, why? Yeah. You know, I'm like, you don't have to worry about the guys in prison. You got to worry about the guys visiting the guys in prison. I'm That's like, true. Okay, That's true. Well, that is true. Uh, uh, Sarah's off next week, so I said, let me, tell you something. Let me go to the floor, the floor, the supermarket floor. Hi, Leo. Yes. Yeah. All right. Hey. So this is Columbus, what, like six in the morning? Not even? And there's people already shopping. A little bit. No, there's the line. It's not too crazy. No, these are the people who have been the same stuff every week. Yeah, these are the, these are the monthlies. Because only monthlies can come in. Dailies are online. That's how it works here at Columbus. So basically, we're going to take a quick look here. Well, and see if there's anything worth buying. Everybody's standing around for a reason. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. They, I think because it's here or it's all the way over there. So the people that just came in here are looking over here. Five, five minutes. Five, ten years ago, this yeah. place would be... Hell yeah! It would be pitch black at night, yeah. and there'd be a ton of stuff. I used to wait in the street. I used to wait yeah. on 206. I remember. All right, anyway, let me just... I'm going to look. Right. It's early. That's me being frustrated. God, I'm not finding nothing. Oh, what up? So, this... So this is what it's like on Thursday. Um, 
nobody's doing the Thursday monthly, it seems, because if they were, this place would have more vendors. There's barely any vendors right now. This is the food guy. Uh, nobody's really set up. I think the main thing is what's going on now is the line. The line is long out front, which means most people are, are going to do the dailies. Most of the vendors will be dailies, which means right now walking around, it's kind of pointless. I saw one thing. I saw a PS2. They had, uh, I don't see anything of quality, anything high decorative, which means if, if we're lucky, that's the stuff that'll come in when the dailies come in. But like I said, I mean, it's going to be crowded or more crowded because there is a line outside. So anyway, I'm gonna concentrate and see if I can find anything. Tell me the same thing I said before. Uh, it's probably like 25 or whatever. I got I got money if you need it. Oh, I got money in my purse. Okay. Um, there's the daily line is long, which means there, nobody's doing the monthly. I mean, you could I, I showed the fields. They're, they're pretty much empty. I was on the other side, so that means they're just like picking and choosing when to go. Which means, I mean, they don't want to pay for days when it rains, pretty much. So you know. Right now it's 6.40, the line started moving to 6.30, but it's uh, the guys that got here like crazy early. They're in the front of the line. We're somewhere in the middle right now. But at least, I mean, there's gonna be a lot of vendors. You guys, you might find some decent jewelry today, you know, there's a good chance. Um, I just, I don't know. I'm looking at this and I'm like, eh, this is BS um, so far. Like these toys, I bought these toys and I bought this. I don't know how you're going to show these, but the bag might be as interesting. It says, uh, what's that say? City Mission. City Mission Cadet Corps. It's a, it's a volleyball? No, it's basketball. And it's, I'm not wearing my glasses. Something Billy Clark League. i got to look up who Billy Clark is. See if anybody gives a crap about Billy. Then the other thing I got was this Power Rangers lamp, oh, which is pretty cool. I paid 10 that's probably worth 40-ish. I'd say 35 to 45 would, wouldn't be too hard to get for it. Um, pretty good shape. Anyway, there, you can see the line starting to... Oh, hold on. There, the line's starting to move a little bit. Actually, you can't see, but oh wait, there you go. Over, over here. Where is it? Over there. You can see right here, it's moving Whoa, a little bit. Whoa, is that person trying to cut in? Uh, sometimes they do that shit, but whatever. All right. Since we're moving and going in, I might as well show some of the stuff. AJ bought. He bought a pumpkin. Jesus, come on. That's an old one. Uh, an old blow mode. He paid a decent price, reasonable, uh, for it. Then he got, uh, what are these? Pokemon. I guess these are Mega Blocks, Pokemon. Not sure what these are worth. I don't see any of this stuff. Um, but he got about four of them. Um, that's a cord for them. Then he bought some Pokemon tin. He said he paid enough so we can double our money on the Pokemon stuff. And two box sets. We might just open these up and, and try and do pulls or sell the packs separately. We can get more for the packs. They're 25. I think, I think, um... I think he paid like uh, 50 cents on a dollar in these, I'm not really sure. Let's see. Oh yeah, he said he got some sports cards. Let's see, let's do this. this is why the line is barely moving. I can do this. They used to charge you at the gate. I guess they still do. Okay. That's why you got the money now. I think they it's, changed it? No, no, I don't know. They I can't tell. It just it seems they like they're did. it seems like they're letting each row in. Like people aren't going through the the things anymore. Like they go to one row, the next row, you know what I mean? It seems like instead of people going through Well he already said that. Yeah. Well I didn't I didn't really notice it. I just noticed it now. Like it seemed like I mean that one will come around. Yeah, that one will come the next around. Row there will wait until that row get and then they'll Right, just and then they're going. Through. Yeah, that seems uh I didn't, they didn't always do that, but I guess it's, it's something that's newer that they do. Okay, and, and then AJ said he bought some sports and I guess some Pokemon cards too. It's a little chilly, I should have brought my hoodie. Uh, it'll warm up. Oh, we got a Shaq card. 
Okay, so you got a mix. You got some Pokemon and some basketball cards. These are newer ones, but these are probably like... I mean, they're probably $10 cards. Otherwise, I don't think Eddie would have bought them. But Okay, so that's everything that we bought so far. Someday, like I said, if you need, let me go. Here's some of the stuff AJ bought. I'm, I'm going to set up. AJ's walking around. Uh, okay, I guess he bought the Guitar Gear games to have because the guitars are selling and people... If the guitars are selling, people want the games. This is kind of cool. Right. And he might be buying some t-shirts. My friend George bought some. Here's an aftermarket bag of controllers. That was a good price. The PS2 looks legit. Oh, uh, yeah, it's aftermarket. Oh, wait, is this... Hard to tell. Whatever. That's it. Well, I just tell hunting. Uh, so far, these are his purchases. I don't know how much he spent. He's going to tell me. What are these? Oh, these probably are probably posters. Okay, nice. That's probably all the same thing. I'll see if I can open up one a little bit. Okay, Sword and Shield Battle Styles. These might have been GameStop stuff. And they look like they're all the same. AJ's still shopping. He's finding. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember this particular carrier. This is from Bear in the Big Blue House. A little dirty on the eyeball. And who is that? Oh, it's Speedy Gonzalez. Nice. I'll put him out. All right, you know what? I'm just going to fill my space. Uh, I bought some Hot Wheels. I didn't sell any of those. I'm not even taking them all out of the package. That's too much work right now. Um, got some $20 t-shirts. I got some uh, uh, rando decorative stuff. Most of this came from the flea market. Brought my lucite tables. This is like actually the first time I put them out. Um, when she comes back, she got to call him. I know you do. He'll be here. Don't worry. He's never been short as far as I know. So, I, And if you don't have it, he, he, he can get it. This is five dollars. No, I know, I know. How heavy is it? Yeah, that's fine. It doesn't matter. We're compensating. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I believe it or not, I sold some of these Donald plushes. I don't give a crap about them. Uh, so I'm selling them cheap. Some of them are like spotted and stuff. So I'm just letting them cherry pick the best ones. Why are you trying to sell these? These are twenty-five cents a piece. Yes. NES should be. Look, it says five ninety-nine right there. Yeah. I'm only asking five. Yeah, and yes. This they can save a dollar. And yes, five bucks. Yeah, nobody's bought this yet. They're not going for it. They're not going for this. Uh, they don't know how good. They I keep telling Marie, you should just put these online. Online, she finds them. They're like two hundred fifty bucks. I just don't feel like putting everything online. This guy's famous. Yeah, I know. I sold the pack of these. Help me make five bucks. This is the good stuff here. This uh, we sold some one. The one piece of clothing I sold today, George, was fifty bucks. Uh, you said a hundred, you turned around for a second, he was gone, right? They lie. I'll be back. Uh, I didn't sell any of these, I didn't sell any of this. I sold one of these, I gave it to, I, I paid a dollar each for it. I gave it to the kid, I sold him like two, three dollars, I gave it to the kid for a dollar because it's a kid. And I, I was feeling nice today. He's famous. A couple of people asked me on these, I'm telling people two fifty. Because whatever, they're worth more. Uh... And then it's just this stuff. So here, here's a full view of my space so you can see it. And uh, I'm set up next to George today. Uh, you know what? Let me get back to work. Good. That's the best flea market pizza you're ever gonna have. AJ said, uh, that's yeah. not saying much. Flea market pizza. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Flea market pizza. I'm trying to be, you know. Yeah, you're, you're, you're. It's not like a, a bistro or whatever. Pizza, it? Right next to the pizza place. It's they, like the best cafeteria yeah. pizza in the world. Listen, flea market you, pizza is still better. Get it, it must be the best flea market fried chicken. George is telling us about. Uh, what I was gonna make a mental note of something, but go ahead, George. Tell us about the best flea market pizza in the world. The best flea market pizza. And right and the next to it, the best, and the best chicken. Flea market fried chicken. Oh, this is beautiful. For 25. Oh, because it had 30 on it. Oh, here's something else. Right it's, it looks like I cold. Yeah, it looked like it to me. Yeah. 
but I couldn't really tell the signature. I like it. And it goes, it displays both ways. Yeah, lay down. Okay, that's cool. Up. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, it's very nice. Jumbo boy. Jumbo bad guy now. All right. Why is he bad guy now? I'm going to show what Marie bought. No, uh, let me, let me look, look it up first. You're gonna what, this? Oh, uh, okay. How much you spent? Well, she bought this for 25 It's an eye cult. I'm just going to put it on the shelf with my other glass. Um, and then she got some jewelry, which when she's ready, I'll, 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 I will just show it. How much did you spend? Not a lot? 40, 57. Jesus Christ. I almost spent as much as you. And uh, he didn't check ID or nothing. It's time for Marie to tell me what she bought. Yeah. Wait, what happened? They overcharge you? No. Undercharge you? Usually they over, not under. These are Eisenberg Ice. Okay. Um, Is that what they call them? Yeah. Probably Very only nice. about 20 bucks, but I paid Whatever. $2 for them. Can't go wrong. Uh, these actually have a problem with them, so they're going to have to just go to the supermarket. Mm -hmm. That's one of those silver filigree um, butterflies. Filigree butterflies. Yeah. This is a Vendome. Very piece. nice. Very pretty. Um, All glass beads, right? Yeah, with the rondelles. Black faceted. Yep. Like the, this is a crown trafari piece. That's probably the best thing you bought today? Well, between these two. Okay, very good. And then this, I don't know. I just liked it. I already showed the paperweight. Uh, and this is the rest of what you got. And you didn't even spend a lot, right? I spent 57. I spent 21, and I, there's the Power Ranger lamp over there. And then the other thing is, I didn't even dump it out yet. It's just a bunch of stupid things. I'm going to see if I can fish a couple things out of there that's what it impressive. But George, you buy, oh, George bought a, a nine-foot uh, surfboard. And he, he was brought, saying... And he brought a nine-foot. Yeah, he said he brought a nine-foot surfboard to sell, and he bought... Is that... Is this the one you bought, George? Is this the one you bought? Well, there's a surf. He's got a surfboard sandwich going on over here. AJ's going to open these up, and he's going to tell me why. You got it? All right, you know what? Give me a second, AJ. Let me tell you. Do you have exact change or you need change? I believe I have change. Let me check. Oh, that'd be like, that. my life would be perfect then. So what do you... So go ahead. Yeah. Tell me what's going on. No, we, we had opened them up. Because you wanted the hollow, or...? No. Okay. Yeah, I want to put that in a bag. No, I'll show you one in a second. Okay. Fifteen on the shoe, sir. Oh, they give you those big cards there. That's why the kid wanted the books. Oh, uh, pick it up because there's water. Oh, well, it's ice. Okay. And then we got one more. One more. I'll show you why. Okay. So then you know what's going on. AJ's going to show me what's going on. I recommend open up silk products, but this is a weird... Yeah, sure, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Have a nice one. This is a weird uh, reason. You ready, why? Go ahead. So, separate on eBay. Mm-hmm. These boxes go for about 15 a piece only. Right. And the thing goes for 12. Right. Right? But luckily, we got two of these packs. Okay, the Avion. These are ten dollar packs. Oh, Evolution, evolving like that. Evolving oh, so those size. are ten. Ten, ten dollar okay. packs. All right, That's and then twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, 50 like sixty-five. 65. Yeah, okay, that's better. So this would have been twenty-five, twenty-five, and fifteen. Yeah. But it's easier to sell, right? Or we can open them and sell and sell whatever. True. All right. So these, these we might open later. AJ explains it all. There you go. These, this is garbage. We might open right later because there's Umbreon in the set right now. Okay. That's a $500 card. Okay, what about this? I'm going to throw away these boxes because there's a garbage can there. And I'll leave this stuff here for now, all right? Oops. Uh. Okay, we might do an experiment. Um, there's a video game store here in Columbus. What would be the cheapest we'd sell this for? A hundred. We're going to, if we, if possible, we're going to go to the video game store here at Columbus and try and sell these games, this console, and these games. $100. I'm not going to show you everything because who cares. If we do it, I'll tell you what happens. All right? Yeah, I think it's. I think it could happen. You know what I mean? I don't think it's an impossible. I would. I would too, right? But they're going to be very pricey. You know? So, anyway. An experiment for later. So I'm, I'm, We'll see what happens. All right, I got to keep packing. I had talked about what I was going to do with those video games, how I was going to take them inside and see if the store would give us 100 because I had just taken them to two guys who had one thing on their table for 200 So I had the console, a bunch of games, 
and I had a box. Uh, no, just whatever. It's a, the result of the experiment was the guys wouldn't give me a hundred, even though they had one thing on their table for two hundred. All right, bye. Go ahead. Hello. How